Today we are going to talk about this robot who eats trash from DC. Before starting the video, there's a small message from Team C. So we've spent the last eight months working with the most trusted nonprofit cleanup organizations on the planet. And even though it was difficult, they guaranteed us that for every single dollar we raise, there will be one less pound of plastic and trash in the ocean. And that's just bonkers. That literally means that for every one dollar donated, this much trash comes out of the ocean. And for five dollars, this much trash comes out of the ocean. To accomplish this, we have a three-prong approach, and we'll be cleaning up the beaches, rivers, and oceans across the the world because trash on the beach ends up in the ocean and the majority of trash in the rivers ends up there as well. So to clean the ocean, you gotta tackle all three. For the beaches and oceans, the best nonprofit hands down is the Ocean Conservancy. They're gonna use half the money we raise to organize massive volunteer beach cleanups as well as go out to sea to clean up some of the existing trash. And then the other half of the money will go to the Ocean Cleanup and UN and they're gonna focus on the rivers because 80% of the plastic that flows to the ocean comes from only one percent of the rivers in the world. So to combat this, we'll be placing these trash-eating robots in the world's worst polluting rivers. So it can literally pick up trash 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. We saw this working firsthand in the Dominican Republic, and it's just so cool. The goal of Team Seas is to remove 30 million pounds of trash from the ocean. Probably the craziest thing we've ever attempted. Which means we're trying to raise 30 million dollars by the end of the year. Which is 10 million dollars more than what we raised for Team Trees, and exactly why we need. So if you'd like to help Team Seas to take the trash out of the sea, you can donate to Team Seas through teamseas.org and the link is in the description. So now let's start the video. This is a river which is full of trash more than the water. That's why the interceptor trash eating robot is here. They are saying that the operational cost is much lower than its competitors and it takes minimum labor requirements. You can see if a river has this much of trash, imagine the ocean. And I'm reminding again that if you like to support Team Seas to take the trash out of the sea, you can donate Team Seas to Team Seas. Again, I'm saying the link is in the description. So if you learned something from this video, if you enjoyed this video, and if you got inspired, not to throw trash to the sea. Subscribe to Side Media and click the like button. Also, if you want to get a notification, click the bell icon and click all. See you on the next video. Side Mirror. Yo, yo, side.